Hello there. Thank you for joining me again today. On the uh, on the bench, just for a quick review, is the um, Maycom uh, directional coupler, uh, which is manufactured by a company called Maycom or Omnispectra, as it's now known as. Uh, this is the original packaging the device came in. This is a directional coupler on the microwave frequencies, and uh, we've got a. Um, a direct device here which is rated from uh, 7 to 18 gigahertz and it's uh, SMA's all round it's three port device we've got an input and output and a 20 dB minus 20 dB uh, coupled output on the top there as it's indicated there minus 20 dB and um, we can use this in two ways we can use it uh, as a directional coupler for forward power or we can simply turn it the other way around and then it will measure reflected power coming back uh, from an antenna system or whatever but basically the top bottom of it is as well this we can use in different applications we can use it for example in um, applications where we're, we're injecting a signal from a transmitter in to the import and then what's happening is we um, can couple off a sniff of that signal and we can use it in various purposes just like for connecting to um, a feeding a, a mixer stage as a local oscillator so the transmitter sample of a transmitter signal coming through is sniffed off at minus 20 dBs below the transmitter level and that can be used to drive a, a mixer stage for the receive front end on a receiver a microwave radio receiver also we can couple RF off to a diode detector for detecting things like forward or reflected RF power um, and convert that to a DC level so that it could be used in an ALC circuit to control the transmitter's output power um, also it can be used for measuring the pulse width of a radar transmitter for example uh, where we're coupling off a very small signal sniffed off the original and then we're actually looking at the um, time signature signal of the radar transmitter burst in addition to that we can also use this uh, for test equipment such as you know the uh, microwave radio test set that we've got there and the uh, spectrum analyzer etc these instruments all have very sensitive inputs so naturally if it's not possible to couple the existing signal directly into the you know the front of a spectrum analyzer which could damage it then it's better to um, have this say this output here to an antenna or a dummy load where the power has been dissipated but then a small signal sniffed off this minus 20 db port here and then fed off then to the piece of test equipment like a, such as a frequency counter mod meter spectrum analyzer rf power meter for example things like that you know are all uh, possible using these kind of directional couplers so there's lots and lots of uh, very useful uh, things and obviously um, you can measure antenna VSWR, reflections with them, um, mismatch, things like that. So there's lots of applications that this one device can, can fit. Now we've set up an experiment on the um, tester which I'm just going to go into in a moment. Uh, but basically the packaging that we've got here, it's, uh, this is obviously an X-Defense product because it's got a NATO part number as well as all the other part identification for NATO. And again, it was made by Maycom, it's an Omnispectra brand. Um, so yeah, very good quality uh, little product. Right, so we set up an experiment now where we're generating a signal. And we're, we've got that signal being fed into the input port. The output's terminated into a 50 ohm load, which is rated to 18 gigahertz. And then on the sniffed output at minus 20 dBs, lower than the input we've got the scalar detector connected up which is connected into the input of the uh, microwave test set now we've set up an experiment where we're generating in the source a signal sweep from 1 gigahertz at the far left to 20 gigahertz at the far right bearing in mind this device is only designed really to go between 7 to 18 gigahertz but you'll see it does have a very useful range outside of that frequency band as well. Now we're generating a power of 0 dBm RF output which is 1 milliwatt coming out, out of the tester into, into the input of the um, 
directional coupler. So this is a breakout screen of the uh, microwave radio test set. Um, now you can see in the top left hand corner we've got the, uh, the one in a box in green and it says minus 29 dBm next to it. And then just below it it says power 0 dBm so that's a confirmation of what was what the signal level is coming out of the test set. Now at the bottom of the screen, where it says start, on the bottom left, it says 1 GHz. Then we've got the marker frequency, which is right in the centre of the screen. And that represents the marker, which currently is on the green line in the centre of the trace on the screen there. And it's uh, on the far left of the trace, rather, is the marker at 1 GHz. And then on the right side, at the bottom side of the screen there, at the bottom, it says stop, 20 gigahertz. So basically the far left of the screen is 1 gigahertz, and the far right of the screen on the trace is 20 gigahertz. And as we can see there, at, I've chosen an amateur radio frequency, for example, at 1296, which is a 23 SEMS amateur band allocation. But you can see there that uh, it's not that far out of spec. I mean, it's uh, neg... 29 dBm, uh, you know, which is pretty good. I mean, if you wanted to buy a, a coupler that can um, give you like nearly neg 30 dBs um, uh, redu reduction on the sniff port at 1296 MHz, then this is basically, you know, the, the right device. Um, likewise, if I move the marker now and uh, we, we shift that, oh, hang on, I'm just changing the RF level because I've just got that, that wrong. 0 dBm. Right. Uh, markers. If we move a marker now to 2400 MHz, which is again another uh, amateur radio band allocation, now we've got a, a loss of uh, minus 25 dBm. Uh, I think it is, yeah. Marker there. So that's still quite good again if you wanted to use this in the 2400 mega application um, you know it will be uh, give you a minus 25 db uh, sniffed output and then when we get to a roundabout I think it's the 4 gig mark roundabout there um, that's when it falls into spec um, so we've got minus 21.71 db there and then basically it maintains that right the way across the screen to 20 gigahertz. Um, so for example, if we were to alter the marker frequency, um, we were to put in 10 gigahertz, for example, um, move it right up to 10 gigahertz. As you can see, you know, it's 10.4 uh, gigahertz, it's minus uh, 22 dBs and then uh, keep going you know you can see there if you keep your eye on the top left hand side as we alter the frequency it's got a very consistent output right the way up to uh, 20 gigahertz even so even above what it's designed to operate so it's quite a good example that of a, uh, a very versatile component and um, you know it, it's it's a a nice uh, little little microwave component to uh, to have in your uh, arsenal for um, doing microwave radio measurements, and um, that's it basically. It's just a, a little rundown of, uh, of of a directional coupler and the and the particular uses in which you can uh, apply them to. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.